Welcome to the porta potty. The porta potty is a super fortified, turret protected, electrical, all in one base for solo, duo, trio, quad, or however many fuckers you want to fit into this bitch. As we take our tour around the fortified, you will see, or the porta potty, you will see that the fortification is top line. There were some issues placing walls, but you can fix that shit. Let's take a tour and see what the bitch looks like. Coming in from the outside gatehouse, you will find a repair bench. So you can skin your shit, because you gotta look cool out there in rust. You could also add some other shit in here, a bed, a locker, whatever the fuck you want. Coming through the first door, if you are not welcome, you will find two turrets. If you manage to avoid those two turrets, the third will definitely shoot you in the back of the head. Over here you will find your one furnace. You can have up to four furnaces in this bitch, but my wall placement sucked ass and was not able to. As we go to the left, we will find entry number one. Entry number one is a simple entry, single door with a ladder hatch out. It opens that way to create an airlock or to piss off your teammates. As you come up, you will not have to crouch down to get through. And you are welcomed by the tier three workbench that is missing the small box underneath. Over on the other side, we have the tier two workbench. If we go through this door here, you will find the bubbler. Up above you have storage boxes. If we go out here, you will find that you are on the other side of the base, which is a mirror image of the first side. A repair bench goes here, along with beds, and also lockers, and whatever the else fuck you want. Again, you will find two turrets if you are not welcome, followed by a third to shoot you in the back of the head. These are protected by gates that you have to crouch to get under. A semi-pain in the ass, but part of the build feature. As you roam around and come back inside, the, there is the outside of the base and the two entry options. If you open up these two doors here and also open this door here, it creates an airlock. So if you're in a pinch and people are inside your compound, they cannot get in. Going inside, we will now open this door here and we find we have the electrical room. In the electrical room, we have six furnaces on a shelf two barrels and the battery. Electrical components go on the wall above the barrels. Going down into core, it's where it gets tricky. In core we have three bags for you and two of your best friends. I like the middle bag. You can put a fourth bag here if you wish, but then they're smelling feet. To each side, one would expect honeycomb, but oh no, we have eight barrels. And eight barrels for a total of 16 barrels. Going here, we now have our TC with another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven barrels. And if we look at upkeep cost currently, it is 9,273 stone, 1,369 metal frags. That is just garage doors, cheap metal doors for the frags. We have not upgraded the core to high qual like you would probably want to, so you don't get your ass blown in. Going back up to the second floor. We've already shown everything that's here, so we will go to the third floor, which is obtained by going up the ladder hatch. The inside of the third floor. We're not ready for that yet. Close. It has our mixing table. Not one, but two lockers. And then we open up here, and we have our two planner boxes stacked. You can put a light here. with the sprinkler there and obtain optimal water for both. Coming to this side, you can obtain the boxes that will be placed up top and if somebody breaches into the hole there, you can shoot down to defend. Coming up here, you have a nice peak here, so if somebody breaches through your turrets or is in the door trying to drain them, you can HV rocket their ass in the face. You can also come up here and you can, you guessed it, be that asshole on your roof. Going back inside.
And over to the other side, you see we have a drop down to quickly get down there. We can jump up and we have a mirror image of the other side with your asshole peaks and your roof camp 5000. Going back inside, we have the half floor up above. The half floor up above is optimal space for being a bitch to get into. It is also optimized with not one, but two, one and actually one and two thirds planters. So you can plant more berries so you can farm faster. And lastly, we go to our roof. On our roof, we have nice sloped roofs out so you can be the asshole roof camper and our windmill which will power the whole base and our auto turrets there are currently seven auto turrets on the base expandable up to 12 because that's how many face punch sets you can have a cool feature of this base one of my favorite features is if you're on the top and somebody's like we need to go you can fall down without taking any fall damage and then you can simply skim down here and again no fall damage you could add an additional turret here to cover that turret but then you have three turrets covering one turret and math says that's not a good idea this concludes the porta potty if you have any questions feel free to ask thanks